Hey guys! Uh, so this is going to be my uh, how-to tutorial on how to use uh, the hair bun piece that I mentioned in my March favorites and my outfit of the day. I, I am redoing this video. I posted a video on how to do this before and the lighting wasn't good and the way it edited it kind of cut off the top of my head so you couldn't really see what I was doing. So I decided to redo it and I'm hoping it works out. And uh, so my condo it's kind of weird where it, like there's only one source of sunlight so it's either one place it's too bright or the other place is uh, too dark. So I tried to brighten up the place a little bit. I hope it worked. Um, so yeah, this is my tutorial on how to use the hair bun piece that I bought off of eBay. When I cut my hair short, I was really sad that I wasn't able to put my hair in buns or even just in a simple ponytail where it looked cute. Um, it's just the layers were always sticking out weird and I just hated it. So I was thinking how, you know, a lot of people use the hair pieces that are on the clips. There must be one that looks like a bun. So I just typed in um, hair bun piece on eBay and a bunch of them came up and I picked out like a, I think it's like one of the, the second fullest or the fullest hair bun that's straight and black. You can get curly ones, again straight ones, all different colors and um, they were pretty cheap. Only problem is that they're synthetic so again they don't last very long. If you wear them like every day they'll last probably a month and a half. Um, mine have last, lasted maybe two months, two and a half months because I wore them pretty frequently. And I had to order new ones, but luckily, uh, pretty cheap, shipping's free. And yeah, so this is it. And I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so my hair was straightened yesterday, but right now it's a little bit greasy, um, not really any shape. So this on days like this, or days that my hair is just not styled at all, this is what I usually put in the bun. So again, this is it. So um, all you really need are a couple of elastics and some pins or some clips and sorry my dogs in the background. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is tie up my hair. So up to you. For the bun you can have your bangs out. You can have them down. Um, you can have a messy or neat bun. Uh, I'm going to put my bangs up because what I usually do. So I'm going to have my hair in a, uh, a high bun, so you're going to do a high ponytail, again as high as you want. And you're just going to tie a ponytail with a thick elastic. Like that. Tighten it. So uh, depending on how neat you want your, your bun to look, you can just leave it like this just to smooth it out. Uh, I like to mine look a little bit uh, messier. So. I pull back at the hair where the elastic is and I just pull forward and this just kind of opens up um, the hair here making it a little more relaxed, a little more poofed up. You can definitely take the end of a comb and pull it out too but I find this just easier. And then when you like how it looks just pull down the ponytail. So yeah. And now I'm going to put my ponytail into a little bun. You can do everything in one process with one elastic. I like to use two elastics just in case, but this one's just a thin one. And again, I'm just going to twist my hair around into a small bun and just put the elastic on top. It's just to secure the hair, keep everything in place, not meant to look nice or anything. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hair piece and beforehand, you can brush it down. I brush the hair downwards because it kind of spirals from the middle. Um, it's kind of hard to brush it around, so I brush it down like this, put it on top, and then fix it. So you're going to want the tie the, the tie the, that comes with it um, at the back of your head. So you're going to open up the netting and literally just stick it right on top of your head like that. You're going to take the tie, and it'll have this little plastic piece, kind of like uh, when you had uh, windbreakers when you were younger, or like certain sweaters or jackets, and you just pull to tighten it. Now it's nice and tight. This is where I kind of start to fix it. I kind of comb the hair around, push it where it needs to go. Now you take the elastic, the kind of string elastic, and you just wrap it around your hair as if you're tying your hair. Like that, nice and secure. So this is basically it. This is just how you get a easy top knot. Um, if you still feel like it's not um, loose and kind of messy enough, 
you can pull on the hair a little bit more. I like pulling the hair while it's in the ponytail because when you pull it now, you can get um, some parts get stuck and it kind of tightens and puts a lot of pressure on your head. So I have some of my bangs coming out. Again, you can leave your bangs out. You can leave parts of the front out. I have these little things here that are growing out. I can straighten them and they kind of like bring my face, but I'm going to push them behind my ear. I'm going to push my bangs back. Just take a bobby bit. Yep. And pin that back. And if you do have short hair or layered hair, um, some of the hair in the back of the head can start to fall down. I just take one of these cute little um, kind of butterfly clips. I'm just going to take all the hair from the back, twist it up, and pin, uh, clip it. And this will just keep everything secure. So it's a really fun, easy way to have a top knot. This is great for anytime I just want my hair up. So this way, I don't feel anything. I don't feel the grease. I don't have to worry about styling my hair. And it looks good, effortless. So yeah. And it's a great way to experiment around. You can get the straight buns, curly ones, like all different kinds. So um, yeah. I hope this was helpful to some people. And thanks for watching. Bye.